buscando, te vienen buscando. Hiya. How's your Queen's birthday? I thought I'd follow the colonial tradition and celebrate in the least reverent way possible. So I downloaded some smutty Harry Potter fanfiction and made a reading. It's called Hermione and Ginny vs. the Space Wizards. It's short and sweet and pretty amazing. And here it is. Hermione and Ginny vs. the Space Wizards Hermione and Ginny were on Hogwarts Beta, which was a Hogwarts moon base on the moon. They were fighting space wizards, who were like regular wizards only from outer space, and they were really evil. They wanted to kidnap all the earth wizards to do experiments on them and steal their earth magic to help them take over the galaxy. Also, Hermione and Ginny were both 25 years old and not married to Ron and Harry because the epilogue at the end of the last book is stupid and never happened. Anyway... Hermione and Ginny were fighting the space wizards, who were led by Space Master Grisnark, the most powerful and evil space wizard of them all. The space wizards had invaded the moon and were closing fast on Hogwarts Beta, because they knew that was where all the wizards on the moon were at. All the other members of their Hogwarts class had been captured already, even Harry, because the space wizards used a spell called Tractorium Beamitude that sucked them up into their spaceship and blocked their magic powers and made them zombie slaves, so it was all up to Hermione and Ginny to save the day. The space wizards are almost here, Ginny said. She was very nervous because she would have to fight them. I know, said Hermione, who was even more beautiful than ever, even though she was wearing a bulky spacesuit. Ginny took Hermione's hand because she was nervous but also because she had noticed how beautiful Hermione was, even though she was wearing a bulky spacesuit. But she didn't say this out loud to Hermione because she didn't understand the feeling she was feeling and was confused. Hermione was nervous when Ginny took her hand because Hermione had always thought Ginny was the prettiest, most beautiful girl at Hogwarts and was mad at Harry for breaking up with her and hurting her feelings, but also kind of relieved. Only she didn't know why she felt relieved because she didn't understand the feeling she had. We have to stop them, Ginny, Hermione said. I know, Ginny said and got closer to Hermione. We don't have enough magical power on our own to defeat Space Master Grithnark, Hermione said. Hermione was really smart at magic, so she knew they needed more magical power to beat the space wizards. I know, said Ginny. Ginny began to get scared. There must be some way we can combine and amplify our powers to beat the space wizards, Hermione said. This bulky spacesuit is muffling my magic powers, so I have to take it off, she said, and was embarrassed because she had poor body image, and didn't think she was very beautiful at all, even though she was. I promise I won't look, said Ginny, but her heart started beating really fast, and she closed her eyes, but kept them open a tiny peek, so she could see Hermione taking off the bulky spacesuit to reveal her sexy body, which was wearing nothing but the tight space underwear they all had to wear under their uniforms on the moon. Ginny, are you okay? I feel a giant surge of magical power coming from you, Hermione said and stepped closer to Ginny and put her hand to her forehead. You're burning up, she said. Ginny was really dizzy and super attracted to Hermione and couldn't say anything. I think I need to get out of this uniform, she said. Hermione gulped because this was something she had fantasized about for months, even though she didn't realize she was fantasizing about it. I need to look at your body and see where the magic is emanating from, she said to Ginny. So Ginny slowly took off her space uniform, which was really sexy. Her taking it off, that is. So she took it off and it was so sexy Hermione could barely even look at her. And there was tons of magic radiating out of Ginny's body and she was practically glowing. Ginny, Hermione said and stepped closer. Your body is emanating more magic than I have ever seen emanate from a body before. If we could somehow combine it with my magic, we might have enough magic power to beat the space wizards and Space Master Grisnark. But how do we do that? Ginny asked, and she was just wearing her space underwear and glowing really brightly, and her hair was floating around her head, and she was floating off the floor a little bit. I don't know, Ginny. I'm the smartest wizard that there ever was, and I know everything there is to know about magic, but this is a different kind of magic I have never witnessed before. I don't know what to do. Hermione cried and stepped closer to Ginny. Hermione, Hermione, don't cry, Ginny said and floated closer to Hermione, so their bodies were almost touching. She put her arms around Hermione and felt a shudder run through her body, because she had never been this close to Hermione, but had always dreamt of it, 
and Hermione smelled really good because they used good space shampoo and soap, and she had a little perfume on as well. Ginny, Hermione said and put her arms around her back, and she couldn't help it but one of her hands touched Ginny's butt, and Hermione didn't even know why she did that, but it felt really sexy and she hoped Ginny would let her keep touching her butt. Hermione, you're going, too, Ginny whispered, because Hermione was starting to faintly glow as well. Ginny felt Hermione's hand on her butt, and it felt so amazing, like her butt had never been touched before, and she moved closer to Hermione, so they were pressed together, and Ginny said, Hermione, I have something I've always wanted to tell you, but I have always been afraid to tell you it. And Hermione said, Please tell my Ginny, I promise I won't be mad. And Ginny said, Hermione, I love you, and I've always wanted to make out with you. And a single tear slid down her face because she was scared about telling Hermione this, and also scared about the space wizards and didn't know what to do. But even the tear going down her face was kind of sexy. Hermione gasped, and her glow flickered and almost went out, but then burst out really bright, way more than before. She searched inside herself and went deep down beneath all her genius knowledge and smart facts, and she saw deep down inside that she would always love Ginny too, and really, really wanted to take off her space underwear. Ginny, Hermione said, and they both looked into each other's eyes, and they were crying, and their glow got even more intensified, and they started floating even higher off the floor. Hermione, it's okay. You don't always have to be the strong one. Ginny said and kissed Hermione right on the lips, and Hermione kissed her back with tongue. The glow from their bodies got even brighter and vaporized their space underwear, and they were floating like in zero gravity now. The moon has a little gravity, but it wasn't working on them because of the magic. And they were totally naked and kissing and caressing each other, and it was amazing! Ginny, Hermione gasped as they touched each other's erotic zones. Our magic... It's combining. It's getting stronger. I think we can beat Space Master Grisnark if we combine our powers of love for each other and go all the way. Let's do it, Ginny said. Let's go all the way. So they totally had sex, and it was the most amazing sex in the history of wizarding or muggles or even space wizards, who had a lot of sex, but it was really bad sex because they were all evil and the glow of the light around them shout out of Hogwarts beta like a giant laser beam and hit the space wizard's mothership and punched a hole right through it and freed all the other captured wizards from their slavery and let them use their powers and Harry cornered Space Master Grithnark and said, You tried to use us to conquer the stars, but it looks like it is you who has been conquered by the power of love. And he shot Space Master Grithnark with the Vada Kedavra and the Space Master screamed, No! And he died, and his mothership blew up, but Ron Weasley cast a spell that let all the Earth wizards survive without air until they could get back to Earth. The glow slowly faded from Hermione and Ginny as they finished doing it, until they were resting on the floor all sweaty and naked and tired. I love you, Ginny, Hermione said. I love you too, Hermione, Ginny said. Let's get married, because wizards believe in equal rights, and anybody can marry anybody else, Hermione said. Yes, Ginny said. And so they flew back to Earth and got married, and everybody was there at the wedding, and it was incredibly romantic, and everybody thanked them for saving the world through the power of their love for each other. And Hermione because the headmaster at Hogwarts, and Ginny became the head of the wizard space division, and they lived happily ever after. The End there you have it. Hermione and Ginny versus the Space Wizards. What can be said after that? Sometimes fan fiction really gets it right. Sometimes it adds depth and a new perspective to an established universe. Other times it's Hermione and Ginny making out on the moon. See you on Friday and um, happy Queen's birthday. Te vienen buscando, te vienen buscando.